The outpouring of shock and sadness continues after celebrity chef and food writer Anthony Bourdain was found dead in his hotel room in France. He was 61 years old. Yesterday, fans created a memorial outside the now closed Manhattan restaurant where Bourdain was once executive chef. He was working on a CNN show when he died of an apparent suicide. Vladimir Duthiers has more. Can you blame me? No, I think not. Anthony Bourdain always had a big appetite for life. Globe trotting to parts unknown. Uh, all of the things I need for happiness. Eating with no reservation. Having some of this left over the next morning would not be a bad thing. That's why his suicide by hanging came as such a shock to his friends and fans around the world. Chef Eric Repair, who reportedly found Bourdain's body Friday morning, wrote an emotional tribute. Anthony was my best friend, an exceptional human being. So inspiring and generous, I pray he's at peace from the bottom of my heart. A bad boy of the culinary world, the classically trained chef first gained fame not with food, but with his words. Kitchen Confidential, his tell-all book about what happens behind the scenes in restaurants became a bestseller. That led to TV shows, more books, and even a Peabody Award in 2014. In 2016, Bourdain told our Anthony Mason how life changed after Kitchen Confidential. How is this guy different than that guy? I think uh, when you travel as much as I have, you, I don't want to say I'm more humble, but I think you become aware of how other people live, mm -hmm. how hard their lives are, how big the world is. And then, of course, the fatherhood changes everything. I, mean, I became a father at 50. You know, at that moment, you stop being the star of the film. And that's a, that's a, <laughs> Wait, that's the truth. That's a, for me, that was an enormous relief and a gift. Over the years, Bourdain was open about his struggles. He spoke about his past drug use in a 2015 episode of Parts Unknown. I kind of found my way back to my own past, uh, both in, in Massachusetts, which is where I started my career as a cook at age 17, and my own career with heroin. Looking at your own past and your own youth is, uh, you know, always, you know, one is always filled with a sweetness, sadness, and regret. So. And four months ago, he told People magazine, there have been times, honestly, in my life that I figured, I've had a good run. Why not just do this stupid thing, this selfish thing? Jump off a cliff into water of indeterminate depth. In retrospect, I don't know that I would do that today, now that I'm a dad or reasonably happy. In a career of highlights Yo! and countless meals in countless countries, uh, Capicola. one of Capicola. Bourdain's biggest coups came in 2016. This is killer. It's really good. When he got President Obama to have noodles and beer in Hanoi, the former president tweeting yesterday. He taught us about food, but more importantly, about its ability to bring us together, to make us a little less afraid of the unknown. Anthony Bourdain is being remembered at his favorite food spot here in the Bay Area, Swan Oyster Depot. The San Francisco spot has been serving up seafood for 106 years. Bourdain said that it was his happy zone, and he paid a visit every time he was in the Bay Area. Couldn't believe it. Yeah, it's just a shock, you know. You imagined him coming in here. When was the next time he was going to come in? You know, he just energized so many people. Fans lined the building yesterday asking to have his favorite dish. The owner said that Bourdain didn't have one. He loved it 